How are you doing, Hallie? I'm good. This is a movie about a desperate woman. That sums up the somewhat the character of Ro. I think all the characters are desperate in one way or another. They all have secrets. They're all hiding their real identity and who they really are. And they all have individual motives that sort of undermine the other. And uh, they're all struggling to survive, really. We all struggle to survive mm -hmm. in this world. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody does what they have to do. Sometimes it's very desperate and sometimes... But nonetheless, we do what we have to do. And I think that's one of the reasons I wanted to do the movie. I think it's relatable. I thought, yeah, their, you know, desperation and their secrets are, are very broad and very big. But if you pull it down to like a non-movie scale, or you know, to real life reality scale, we all have secrets and we're all hiding. And we're all just trying to figure this thing called life out and sort of make our way. And I thought most people could relate to sort of the dysfunction of these characters. How much can you relate to a character like that? Because you know, I know you don't have much secret. Everything is on the internet these days. But <laughs> how you know that? Does someone survive, you know, this lifestyle, this Hollywood lifestyle, with having a personal life? Well, just so you know, I've got lots of secrets that are not on the internet. Yet. <laughs> There are a few. I venture to say will never be, because I will never tell them. <laughs> But, you know, there's some things that I'm willing to share, because I think some things can actually help other people, you know, and, 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 and I think it's important to do that. But I think it's important, and it's okay to keep things for yourself. But sometimes when you become a public figure, I think that it's not you, it's the public who thinks they deserve to know everything, they have mm. the right to know everything. Mm. Does it take its toll on you sometimes? It does. It becomes a negative. You know, case in point with this whole thing of, that just came up on the internet about me. That's an article, that's a story that's 10 years old. And once you ever say something, anybody has a right to regurgitate it and present it as if it's new 10 years later. And so you, you start to learn. If you want to keep things private, you, you, you know, you, maybe you have to stop sharing things. And I think it's sad that we have to stop sharing and, and, and exchanging with each other that way. But when it's used against you in a salacious way, then you sort of start to feel like, okay, maybe I shouldn't share. And that's the, that's the, the negative of, I think, celebrity. Does it at times feel when you read those kind of things, like you want to stand up and say, hey! You know, this is a lie, or this is 10 years old, or, or something, or is it better just to let it go? Um, sometimes I say, hey, like I just said to you, reminded you it was 10 years old, and another magazine just salaciously brought it up again. Uh, but sometimes I just say, you know, whatever. I've learned to not really focus so much on what other people have to say, especially the negativity. That just seems like a big waste of time. You're a role model to so many people around mm -hmm. the world. Um, The fact that things like we talked about show up, does it discourage you or does it make you stronger? You know, I guess I'm a role model. People tell me that. Uh, and I accept it to some degree, but I never want to feel like I'm such a role model that I lose the inability to be my authentic self and say what I really feel or do what I really want to do because I'm worried of how it will affect the image and, and, and that I have too many people looking and watching and expecting me to do the right thing. That sounds like career suicide and it would be creatively, it would be creatively just too stifling. So I'm aware of it, but I don't, I don't really focus on it. The good thing is, of course, is that if you're a role model, you're You're a human role model with, you know, good yeah. things and flaws and yeah. whatever. And, and that's, that's the, the best perfect role model, role to, model to be. be. There you exactly go. Exactly right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for very much. For saying that for me. <laughs>